All the Types of Fairies A Video Overview by Ellen Rigby Kelpie is a shape-shifting spirit inhabiting lochs in Irish and Scottish folklore. This water spirit is from Celtic mythology. They often appear as horses and lure people into the water to drown. Leprechauns Mischievous and diminutive Irish fairies, often portrayed as shoemakers. They are known for their pots of gold hidden at the end of rainbows. They can be both male and female. Taunt. Scandinavian house spirits known for protecting the home, farmsteads, family and animals. They often wear traditional clothing and are solitary creatures but mischievous domestic spirits. Pukka. Shape-shifting creature of Celtic, English, and Channel Islands folklore. Considered to be bringers both of good and bad fortune. Sometimes appearing as horses. They are known for leading travelers astray or offering guidance. Dryad Tree spirits or tree fairy in Greek mythology. Often depicted as a beautiful young female figure who is bound to specific trees, particularly oak trees, and known to protect their domains. Kitsune Fox spirits from Japanese folklore that can shapeshift into human and other forms. They are known for their intelligence and trickery and possess paranormal abilities that increase as they get older and wiser. The Kitsune Foxes can bewitch people, just like the Tanuki Badgers, they have the ability to trick or fool human beings. Sprite Sprites are ethereal and graceful fairies associated with nature. They can be found near bodies of water, meadows, and forests. A water sprite also called a water fairy or water fairy, is a general term for an elemental spirit associated with water, according to alchemist Paracelsus. Water sprites are said to be able to breathe water or air and sometimes can fly. Changeling A changeling was believed to be a fairy or fairy-like creature that had been left in place of a human, typically a child, stolen by other fairies often believed to be a fairy's offspring. They often care more for their friends and family than they do themselves. Nymph Nymphs are nature spirits who reside in various natural settings, such as forests, rivers, and mountains. They are known for their beauty. In ancient Greek folklore a nymph is a minor female nature deity. Different from other Greek goddesses, Nymphs are generally regarded as personifications of nature, are typically tied to a specific place or landform, and are usually depicted as maidens. They were immortal like other goddesses, except for the Hamadryads, whose lives were bound to a specific tree. Selkie, seal-like fairies from Scottish and Irish folklore. Selkies are mythological creatures that can shapeshift between seal and human forms by removing or putting on their seal skin. They feature prominently in the oral traditions and mythology of various cultures, especially those of Celtic and Norse origin. Goblin, small, grotesque fairies often associated with causing mischief and chaos. In Western folklore, a wandering sprite that is usually mischievous but often malicious. Goblins supposedly live in grottos but attach themselves to households, where they are believed to bang upon pots and pans, snatch nightclothes off the bodies of sleeping people, move furniture at night, and flee after rapping on walls and doors. They are thought to help parents discipline children by rewarding the latter with presents when they are good and punishing them when they are disobedient. Haldra Norwegian forest fairies with enchanting beauty, often appearing as seductive women with a hidden tail. Haldra is a beautiful female creature from Norse folklore, she is said to have long blonde hair and always wears a crown made of flowers. They inhabit remote forests and wilderness areas. Brownie In English and Scottish folklore, a small, Industrious fairy or hobgoblin believed to inhabit houses and barns. Rarely seen, 
He was often heard at night, cleaning and doing housework. They are known for their love of cleanliness. They are usually small and wear brown clothing. Sylph An imaginary or elemental being that inhabits the air and is mortal but soulless. The existence of such beings was first postulated by the medieval physician Paracelsus, who associated a different being with each of the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. They are often found in high places like mountaintops and clouds. Banshee A supernatural being in Aerish and other Celtic folklore whose mournful keening, or wailing, screaming, or lamentation, at night was believed to foretell the death of a member of the family of the person who heard the spirit. Normally a female fairy spirit from Aerish folklore, who wails as an omen of death. She is a harbinger of doom for certain families. In Ireland banshees were believed to warn only families of pure Aerish descent. Knockers In Cornish folklore, knockers were known to live deep in the dark of mines, away from human interaction. Some believe they were the spirits of unfortunate miners who lost their lives, who, it was thought, would knock on mine walls to warn miners of impending cave-ins. Generally considered benevolent, they were also tricksters who would hide tools and extinguish candles. A hobgoblin is a mischievous, yet generally benign nature spirit, a sort of miniaturized version of an elf, goblin, or fairy, depending on the folklore involved. Myths and legends about hobgoblins vary widely, with many folklore traditions having their own distinct versions, which can sometimes be a bit confusing. Generally, a larger, more helpful relative of goblins, known for assisting with household tasks in exchange for small gifts or offerings. Nixie Water nymphs or fairies from German folklore, often seen near bodies of water, where they can be both benevolent and malevolent. They are a water being, half human, half fish, that lives in a beautiful underwater palace and mingles with humans by assuming a variety of physical forms, example, that of a fair maiden or an old woman, or by making itself invisible. Fairy Godmother A benevolent fairy who grants wishes and provides guidance and assistance to those in need, a scene in Cinderella. In French fairy tales, a fairy godmother is a fairy with magical powers who acts as a mentor or parent to someone, in the role that an actual godparent was expected to play in many societies. Fairy godmothers, who preside over births and prophesy the newborn's fate, are descended from the fates of mythology like the Roman Parsi, Greek Marie, and Norse Norns. Pixie a tiny elf-like spirit or mischievous fairy dressed in green who dances in the moonlight to the music of frogs and crickets. Pixies are speculated to be particularly concentrated in the high moorland areas around Devon and Cornwall, suggesting some Celtic origin for the belief and name. In the modern era, they are usually depicted with pointed ears, often wearing a green outfit and pointed hat. Traditional stories describe them as wearing dirty, ragged bundles of rags, which they discard for gifts containing new clothes. <laughs>